Basically, the treatment for Bell's palsy is usually steroids. And that treatment works if given in the first few days. We normally say in the first 72 hours. Now, the, st the dose of steroids will vary, and the steroid dose will depend on the body weight. Usually, a course of 7 to 10 days of steroids is given. Steroids are not for everybody. There may be medical reasons why steroids are not given. If the patient, for example, has diabetes, mental health issues, high blood pressure, it may be thought that it's not worth the risk of giving steroids. Steroids help patients with Bell's palsy or idiopathic facial palsy recover quicker. There's little evidence that they affect the overall outcome, say at a year or two years. If you suspect that the facial palsy may be secondary to a virus, um, such as the varicella zoster virus, or the virus that causes shingles, um, then antiviral agents are given. Drugs like acyclovir are given in addition, but these are not needed for most cases of facial palsy. There is a small number of patients for whom there is persistent facial weakness. These may be older patients, patients who are diabetic, or patients who have very, very severe facial palsy with very little movement in the start of their condition. And in those cases, surgery may be considered. But before surgery, other strategies may be tried. Facial physiotherapy, um, botulinum and toxin injections. Uh, and surgery very much is for the minority of patients, and the vast majority uh, don't require that.